What have you done to yourself? I came as soon as I heard the news about your ear. Why didn't you reach out to me? We're in the same city, and that doesn't happen very often. That's besides the point. Can I see it? Just to make sure that the doctors bandaged you correctly. thing. Um, why don't we put the bandage back on? Why would you do such a thing to yourself? I don't understand. I know you've been struggling, but I didn't realize that it had gotten that bad. <sighs> I see. Cooking, Theo. Yeah. That is a lot. That is a lot. I understand. No, of course I'm not judging you. Of course not. I would never. It does make sense. When all that stuff piles up. I've had a panic attack before, so... I understand. I know. I know it's kind of... It just happens, but... We're here now, okay? I'm here now. I'm gonna stay with you for a few days, okay? I just don't want you to be alone right now. More importantly, I don't want you to feel alone right now. I know you feel alone in this world, but there's plenty of people who love you and support you. I know it's not enough. You have grand ambitions, and I have no doubt that one day the world will notice you. The whole world will see what I and a few others see in you. Truly, I have so much faith in you. I do. I do think you're a genius. I think you're the best artist in the whole world. Really, I do. You have everything it takes to be successful. You're incapable of giving up. Watching you paint makes me feel like life is worth living. You just bring so much passion into everything you do and I admire you endlessly. Every time you hit an obstacle, you just paint right over it. Truly, you are a genius. You're brilliant. Trust me, one day, so many others will see it too. They'll really see what you have in your heart. I promise, I promise. Just do what you do best and keep going, okay? And when you're struggling, please just tell me. You 
want to go painting right now? I don't think that's a good idea. I just think you should rest at least for a day or two. You really want to go right now? <laughs> I'll tell you what. How about I help you up and we'll get you in bed? Maybe I'll go get some ice from downstairs. It's awfully hot in here. And tomorrow we'll go painting. We'll find a beautiful field. I'll even sit with you. Sit for you. I know that you paint me a lot, but I love being in your paintings. How about it? It's supposed to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. you up, okay? You have such a cozy room. I feel so relaxed here. Sometimes You could have my healthy mind, but that's impossible. What's it like to be an artist? I figure. through you in that regard. Are you still feeling depressed? I understand. I know it doesn't all go away in an instant. Is there anything more relaxing than an afternoon nap? Painting? I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. I love the ones you have up in here. The dark blue one's my favorite. Starry night. It's beautiful. I wish I could buy all of your paintings. But 
one day your art will be in museums. I just know it. I just know it. You don't believe me? I promise. I know. It's easy to feel discouraged right now, but... You just have to keep going. Easier said than done. I know, I know, I know. It's alright. It's alright. You have such a nice face. Yes, even though you're missing an ear now, it's all right. <laughs> you don't need the ear to be whole, you know? <laughs> it does break my heart, though. I wish I was there when you needed me. It's gonna be okay, I promise. really big day ahead of us tomorrow. I can't wait. Just relax. It's okay. Few things in life make me happier than watching you paint. It's quite a sight to see. No other artist allows me to move freely as I pose. It's so liberating. I've posed several times for the atelier. I was constantly berated for moving and chatting with the artists. Well, they were trying so hard to replicate reality exactly as it was. I mean, where's the passion in that? Where's the emotion? But you, you're different. You let life exist as it does and paint the world so beautifully as you see it in your mind's eye. It's so refreshing, absolutely exquisite. I think I'd like to enjoy some sunshine. He 
Havens. Do you feel the sunshine on your back? How can something so simple like sunlight feel so delicate? That's what I love about your paintings. You capture the delicacy of the simple things in life. I don't understand how your mind can get so twisted up sometimes, and yet you paint the world with such joy and beauty, as if nothing is wrong at all. Why do you love sunflowers so much? I've always wondered that. They are very complicated. I don't know how you have the persistence to paint each individual petal. I could never do it. That little sunflower painting you gave me is one of my most prized possessions. It's why I bought that sunflower dress. I'm so sorry that the simpletons of the town laugh at you and tell you that your art is not beautiful. It seems like the more unique someone or something is, the more it's rejected until those same boring people become so blasé about the present that they turn to the very thing they scoffed at initially. <sighs> that is precisely how I know you will sell your paintings one day and be very successful. You're done. Are you sure? You don't need me to put my parcel back up. How do you do it? We've only been out here for an hour, maybe two. But of course you're a genius. You can make a masterpiece in but two hours. I can't wait to see it. Are you hungry? I am hungry. Why don't we visit the cafe for an afternoon cup of tea? Don't worry about your ear. If anyone says anything, I'll smack them. Vincent, look at the sign. A star in the night. Remember what you were telling me about your painting last night. Starry night. I know it's just an advertisement for a new item on the menu, but I think it's a sign of your future success. There's that humble smile I love. Take 
in my hand. No one is going to judge you. At least not when you're with me. Most people in this town don't have the capacity to think deeper than the depth of a swimming pool. But you have an entire ocean within your mind, and therefore should not concern yourself with these fools. Besides, I did promise that I would smack anyone who said anything with my parcel, and I intend to keep that promise. The world may not be ready for you 